بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس پرو یوزرز دس از دا سیریز آف ٹو ٹیوٹوریلس اینڈ ان دیز ٹیوٹوریلس وی ول کریٹ دا پی ایف ایف فائل اینڈ دا مینیو اپلیکیشن فار اے سپروائزر اینڈ این انویٹر ان دا فرسٹ ٹیوٹوریل وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو رائٹ دا پی ایف ایف فائل ٹو کال این ادر اپلیکیشن تھرو دس پی ایف ایف فائل دا کانٹینٹس وچ وی ول کور ان دا فرسٹ ٹیوٹوریل آر ایز فالوڈ create menu application define urdu as another language in menu application write pff in login application first we will create folder for menu application if you are not already in your application folder navigate to the folder here i have already created folder with the name of 106 underscore menu we need a menu application and to save time i have already done the menu application The menu dictionary will look like this. We have one ID menu app underscore login ID under ID as zero. Data type is numeric and length is four. We have only one record menu underscore application underscore rec. Click on the plus sign to see the items on this record. In this record, we have two items. One is menu underscore app underscore sup ID. Data type is numeric and length is four. and the other is menu underscore app underscore role data type is numeric and length is one click on form icon from the edit designer toolbar drag the record from the dictionary tree onto the form and your form is ready to write logic before we start writing logic we will set capy language click on capy option from the menu to add language i have already added urdu as another language Set the language at the start of the program Urdu as a default. For this, we will write syntax in the pre-proc of menu application underscore level. Select menu application underscore level and then click on logic icon from the edit designer toolbar. We will use load setting and set language function to set the preferred language. We have already discussed load setting and set language function in our user and configuration settings tutorial we will not be discussing it now and after that on change language global function we will called let's see syntax in on change language global function click on menu application underscore ff this is the same syntax which we have already discussed in user and configuration settings tutorial now save and close your application we are going to start writing pff to call menu application which we have just created to write pff i will use the login application which was created in previous tutorials to see the previous tutorials the links are available in the description navigate to the folder containing your application login underscore app in the 101 underscore login folder open the login application by double clicking on login underscore app dot ent we will write syntax in the post proc of password select password and then click on logic icon if we don't code a pre proc or post proc in a proc all instructions are considered post proc statements by default so now we don't have any instruction so it means all instructions are considered post proc in the following logic statement the if statement will run first if the conditions of the if statement are not satisfied namely there is not an incorrect password or a blank password then the else statement will run in this case it will take you to the start menu function click on login underscore app underscore ff to show all the logic in the global procedure section we declare global user defined function start menu and pff object name menu app underscore pff in first four lines we will save attribute and their values through save setting function and we will call these attributes values in menu application through load setting function the point from where we start off by writing pff each line would have four parts pff object name set property function property name and property value let's examine the code set property set the value associated with the pff property in our case in the version property we will set the cs pro version information 
set the value as entry in application type set start mode as add full screen will be yes determines whether cs entry will open the application in full screen mode if you don't want in full screen mode then you write no application the name of the menu application that we created Input data will be none because we are not going to save any data file in menu application. On exit, specify a PFF file to run after the menu application close. When we close the menu application, the login application will relaunch. This line is optional. If you want to save your PFF, then use PFF object function save. In the end, Execute the application with PFF object function exec. Your PFF file is done. Now save your application. Before running the application, let's see the user configuration settings. Currently, we have some info in the user settings. Remove these settings and run the login application. The default language is Urdu. Enter your login information. After entering the password, the menu application will be launched. In the menu application, Urdu is set as the default language. Now close your application and you will be on the login screen again. Close your login application as well and open user settings to review the attributes and with their value. Over here, you can see the login information and preferred language is saved. Now close this window without removing the attributes and restart the login application and login into another login id and change your language preference from urdu to english as well when you move forward after entering the password the menu application will be launched with the english language and you can see the login id and role has been changed as well now close your application to review the user settings as you can see other than supervisor id all information has been changed at this point, we will end this tutorial. See the CS Pro helps for more information on how to use the program information file PFF. In the next tutorial, we will create a menu for a supervisor and an enumerator. Keep on learning and goodbye.